Body of Creative Fitness Profit Systems and Fitness Panora's Life. And today, I want to talk to you about how to have more freedom. Because right now, in the world, in our industry, in many industries, people are suffering with what I call a lack of freedom problem. They could be missing out on time freedom because they're starved for time, they're stressed, pulled in a hundred different million directions, and finding themselves never able to just simply like enjoy, be present, discover where they're at, be in the moment. There are people out there that are just like, I cannot make it work with the way I'm being rewarded financially, whether it's in the job world or in the industry or in my service or in my small business, that they're finding themselves, life isn't progressing year upon year where you feel like I'm excited about where things are going. There's people that are like, you know what? I sometimes might need to move in my life. Situations change, things change with family, emergencies happen with family, things are going on. I wanna travel and see the world, but yet I'm stuck. Because whether my business or my job are in one town or my life is just in that town, I don't get to enjoy that location freedom. There are people that are out there in the world that are like, you know what? I'm surrounded by a lot of negative people, a lot of pessimistic people, a lot of just people that in my circle, they're just not happy. And they're like, I would really like to cash in these douchebags and find some more positive people, people that are optimistic about the world, people that are hard charging into the world. But people are like, I don't know if I know how to do that. And there are people that are out there that feel like I've got something more inside of me and I want to be able to get it out into the world. I love my roles as spouse or parent, but what about me giving back to the world and I'm in a job or I'm in something that I feel like I've just been here five years, 10 years, whatever it is, I just don't know how to change because I'd have to start my career over, I'd have to start a job over, I'd have to start a salary over. And they're like, I want more purpose freedom, but I just kind of can't seem to find it out there. So we have to look at, if we're gonna solve that lack of freedom problem and give people more freedom, we gotta kinda analyze and sit back for a second, but what's the realities of why we're in this lack of freedom world, where we don't have enough time, we don't have enough finances, we don't have the people that we wanna be surrounded by, we're not able to move to the locations that we want and see the world the way we want, and we're not able to live into our purpose. We gotta sometimes understand that, but well, the question has to be is, is what I'm doing gonna be able to provide me those freedoms? That's the basic question. You gotta sit back and look at your life and be like, is what I'm currently doing going to be able to give me any one of those freedoms one at a time or all of them together? Because there are just some ceilings in the world because we've bought into, and we were all raised this way and this is where the world came from, but things are different now, but we were raised, you know, go to school, then get a job, work there 30, 40 years, and then maybe you'll get your IRA and your pension fund, you'll be taken care of. That American dream is gone. It is not ever coming back. And the sooner we get into that reality mindset and understand that the old American dream, that my father, my grandfather, that they came from Sicily over here, and they got to live that American dream, that's not our American dream anymore. It's changed. That job world is good. Companies will let you go. They will outsource you, fire you, retire you in the heartbeat. I simply, I remember I was presenting to some people, I was just like, hey, you know, let's take a look at this job world and, and try to just like call a spade a spade and be like, what's so awesome about the job world? Where you're like, in that job world, you're just like, you have to show up on somebody else's schedule, answer to their time schedule, their clock, punch in their hours, do whatever they tell you when and where and how to be. And I'm like, and you get one to two weeks off of vacation, maybe a year, and you get maybe two to 4% raise a year as long as there is no like raise freezes, and you're forced, you don't get to choose who you get to work with, the company's hiring the people, and then you could be surrounded by the douches that are out there, and you're like, oh, these are the people I'm surrounded by. And you are stuck in the role that they give you, oftentimes. Now, I'm, I'm grossly generalized. Of course, there's some companies that are stellar, that change this game and whatnot. But for the majority out there, 90% of companies are run with these limitations, these ceilings. In our industry, I always break it down to the fact that I'm like, anytime you are in the trainer role, the technician mode, You've just got, there's some ceilings you gotta understand that if you are that trainer, you're that fitness coach out there, you're that service provider, maybe you're not in the fitness industry and you're hearing this, you're in a healthcare practitioner, you're a nutritionist, dietitian, whatever you're out there, 
Pilates, yoga, massage therapist, you're in this, in this wellness thing, but you gotta manually be there to do the work. You just gotta understand the ceilings are there. You only have so many hours in a day. Time is your ceiling. You only got so many hours a day that you can stand there and do the work, that you can deliver the service. And unless you start thinking about other options, that's your bottleneck, that's your ceiling. Well, you only have so many places you can physically stand. As a service provider, technician, you only have so many places. Barring you figure out how to doppelganger yourself or duplicate yourself or create robots of yourself, there's only you standing there doing the work. So not only do you have only so many hours in the day, you only have so many places you can be. So right there you have two ceilings to your income potential, to that financial freedom, to that ability to have time freedom, the ability to have location freedom. Because when you're not in that, you ain't getting paid that way. Now let alone, you only have so many people you can work with. That means the amount of people that you want to work with is limited. Now of course, in some, you might be able to scale and do some group things and stuff like that, but there are many practices out there that you can't just be doing group with. So now you are in that people limit, that people ceiling. And maybe your dream, your passion is to go out there and really create a movement and change this world and do something big, put a dent in obesity, put a dent in stress. I don't know what the things are that you're out there trying to do, but when you can only service so many people and you can only be in so many places, that purpose freedom, that ability to hit the masses and work on such a high level, it's just you, you physically can't do it. Now maybe your dream isn't that big, but maybe it's more about the fact of like, what do you want to be able to do with your family? How much time do you want to be there? But if you're like, I can only make money when I show up there, and you're not there, and you're not making money, but you got bills, you got house, you got kids, you got this and that. Now, these are the realities. And it's just better that we have this frank, open discussion to recognize, hey, if you choose that, that's what you want, that's awesome. That's it, but let's not be like, I one day want to be making high six figures doing that, I want to travel the world and whatnot, but you painted yourself into this box of what your abilities are because of the way you chose to have that. Now, granted, is everybody, should everybody go and be a business owner or go be an entrepreneur? Absolutely not. Depends on your temperament. Depends on what you believe about yourself. Depends upon what your dreams are. So, if you're watching this though and you're in my tribe, you're thinking about big stuff. You're thinking about mission. You're thinking about purpose. You're thinking that anything is possible. You can create any income that you freaking want. You can work with the, the people that you love. You can go travel the world and do your stuff because that's what I teach my people. I teach people how to go live that freedom lifestyle. But we don't get to freedom lifestyle until we discuss the realities of what's holding us down at each stage of the way. Like When I was a trainer, I didn't think about these things. I only knew what I knew. I only knew that I'm like, hey, I gotta train people, I can put them into groups, I could just keep raising my rate until I hit a ceiling where people are like, I just ain't gonna pay more than that because you know we're just we're training. I wasn't doing like neurological freaking work that people were gonna be paying five hundred thousand dollars an hour. Realities. Kind of can't put the blinders on to the realities of where we are in each of our industries, in our jobs. You might be in the job world, well you gotta realize your boss is only gonna give you so much of a raise before he's like, ah, eh, we just can't make our profits or our margins, or I could get somebody cheaper than you, and that's why I'm gonna, out, I'm gonna retire you and bring in some young kid and bring him at half the salary that you were. That shit's real today. You kind of got to either be like, I'm cool with that because I've gotten comfortable and I like my little safe world and I like just being in my job world, or you better start figuring out how to build a side hustle and how to start getting out there and how to go out there and be like, I'm going to replace that income. I'm going to go out there and create a mission, a business, an entrepreneurial adventure of my choosing so that I can create all the freedoms that I want. But let's keep scaling this up and be like, what else do you got? Because there's other realities we got to talk about. Because I'll give you an example. Like when I decided to like um, shift from trainer to business owner, because I thought what I thought back then was my only next step. I'm gonna open up a small studio, and I'm gonna start becoming a brick and mortar studio owner, small business owner. My family, my family ran a restaurant. My sister owned a landscaping company. I always saw small business as the next step, so I thought that that's what it was. Back then, we didn't have online, we didn't have mobile, different options. So I had to go. I'm like, okay, that's my next step, studio owner. And I thought that was gonna give me all lifestyle of freedom as well. I was like, oh, I can scale this baby, I can do all this stuff. But ceilings came a rushing down. 
And I want you to be aware of these ceilings so then you can choose. Do you want to be stuck under them? Maybe those are the ceilings you enjoy, but let's be real about them, right? Because as a small business owner, I don't care if you're a Pilates studio owner, if you're a gym studio owner, if you're a boot camp owner, you're a nutritionist and you own your own business, a dietitian and you own your own business, you're a massage therapist and you own your own business, it doesn't make a difference. You decided to be like, I'm opening up a brick and mortar business. Now, here's the thing. Reality is location. Location, overhead. Now you have physical stuff over you that you gotta pay, so now your overhead just shot up. And now you're like, I can only pool people to come to this place within a 5, 10, 15 mile radius because otherwise most of those healthcare practitioner businesses, small businesses, they're saturated everywhere now. There's one on every freaking corner and people only travel so far for those services before they'll just choose the one that's closer because unfortunately most healthcare practitioners, service people, small business owners, they were once the technician that decided to become a small business owner and they haven't yet embraced to become a marketer of their business. They still believe that I gotta be in the trenches technician as compared to, to tell you the truth, I gotta li like limit how much I'm on the floor or doing any of the service because I now need to run the business, grow the business, market the business, sell the service, not be the service provider. And until that reality comes, you can find a lot of people just kind of hitting the average that most in, a, in the fitness industry, Small business studio owners, they're making about 297,000 in revenue. So after overhead payroll and all that kind of stuff, they're maybe paying themselves 50, 60 grand. Oftentimes they're making less than when they were the, the technician. Reality, you know, I call it the gut check moments. We gotta take this gut check before we can make the mental shift to what are solutions I can look at. But, so you've got geography, location as a ceiling when you're in a small business, because like people only go so far, that means you could, you're fighting over everybody in that, in that region, then you also got, you're gonna need staff to help run the business, because you can only do so much yourself. Well, finding really good people that are career-minded, wanna run a bit, I mean, wanna really work at a business, do a great job, you're only pulling from the five to 10 mile radius of people that would work there, because otherwise I'm like, I'm just gonna work at a place that's closer to my home. Because I don't wanna commute a half hour, 45 minutes, hour, whatever. Of course there are some insane people that do that stuff. They're definitely not living the freedom lifestyle. But sometimes that's where we end up. The beautiful thing is we can change that. You can change that. But we gotta understand the reality of what small business is. Let alone financial freedom in a small business with overhead and payroll and things like that and the needing of staff and all these other things it starts to also change, well, how much can I pay myself without hurting the business? And then if I'm not there, is the business running the same? Now granted, yes, some small businesses can find people, but boy, is that a journey. In the meantime, a lot of years are wasting through. So now you've got location issues, people issues, and time issues in a small business. I could never travel when I had my studio in the early years because the minute something went wrong, an alarm went off or something happened, I, had, I was like on call. I had to be the guy to go down and turn off the alarm and deal with this and deal with the cops or whatever it was, middle of the night, all that. Just because who else is gonna be there? It's a brick and mortar facility. And then when I started thinking about the fact that I'm like, I really wanna do more than just what I'm doing in my local community. There's something beautiful about working in your local community and having a small business in that way, 100%. I think it's the second best thing in the world besides entrepreneurialism. I do believe that. That small business world is like the second most beautiful thing. It's way better than the freaking job world where you at least get to control more of your own destiny in the small business world. But the reality is, if you don't scale that business also online and mobile and you're only doing the brick and mortar come to me service, you're handicapping yourself because you're like, you can only work with so many people in that geography and all the other ceilings that we just talked about. So now that ability to live into your mission is limited by just the community debt. And maybe that's all you want is a community debt. Then you can be like, screw you, Vito, that's all I want. And then you're right. But if you're like, I'm dreaming about a movement, bigger purpose, now you've got the ceiling of what happens in the small business world. Make sense? The third option is just looking at the entrepreneurial world, what I call the fitness panor, the health panor, whatever you wanted to look at it as. But in that world, there are no ceilings. There are not. Because you can work anytime, anywhere. You can make as much or as little money as you want. 
You can work with only people you love. You can work with people anywhere that they live. When I started my Team Beach Body Team, the Hard Chargers, and I started that network marketing business, it allowed me to start partnering with fitness professionals and studios all over America and all over Canada. That changed the game for me. Because when I had my studio, I could only work with the five trainers that live close enough to be staff. But once I had a network marketing business, I was like, I can start working with all these people because I can mentor them, lead them, coach them, teach them how to build these virtual studios online. And now our revenue is all tied together. So as they grow, I'm getting a percentage of that back as a revenue share. Blew the world open. Blew the world open. That's how I built a seven-figure business just in a network marketing division. Then let alone information products and apps and mobile technology and all the other things. Because in that entrepreneurial world, you can be like literally whatever verticals you want, whatever people you want to work with, whatever. So my wife and I have been on vineyards in Napa, in Italy, in France, and we've been able to do work from there because we're like, I just got to clock in. I'm online. I'm mobile. I'm, it doesn't matter where I'm physically standing. And now we're enjoying that location freedom. And we get to go kind of where the wind blows. And it's a great way to live. So the reason that you got to have this discussion with yourself is you got to ask yourself, is what you're doing going to give you that? If you're in the job world or the service world, the trainer technician world, are you going to be able to have any of those freedoms? Time, financial, location, people, and purpose. Maybe you don't want all of them, and that's cool. But I think we have to have this discussion so you don't wake up one day and say, I didn't know. Now you do. Cool, fair enough. If you're in the small business world, same thing. Evaluate, run things through. Ask yourself, which of the freedoms do I want? Are they possible for me the way I'm doing things right now? And if not, what would I have to do to change? Because if you want that total freedom lifestyle in that entrepreneurial world, in that online, mobile, network marketing world, then you just got to start making some action plans to be like, well, what can I do? Because you can choose different. You can choose different. When I came up in the industry, I only had so many choices because online, mobile, network marketing, they weren't where they're at today. But now they are. So you can choose different. You can challenge the status quo. Don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot do or what's right. Oh, network marketing is pyramid schemes. Bullshit. Those are the people going broke in their lives. I'm like, we built a team of 13,000 people in network marketing because we got smart. We understood that that 80s bullshit doesn't exist. Instead, we're like, you know what? It's the same business model as any business model. It's a revenue share. We're going to just run it with integrity. We're going to run it with honor and respect. I don't care what other companies, other people have done with it. I know how we'll run it. And we built an empire with it. Challenge the status quo. Just change. Somebody said that, I say no to that crap thinking. Somebody says, oh, I'm afraid to leave my job world. I'm challenged that thought because that job world ain't safe anymore. So you got to start asking yourself, man, huh, why am I still living that way? Why am I thinking jobs are the safe way versus going online, building a network marketing business, doing whatever you got to do to change that way? You, got, you have to go out there and have to develop some new skills. When I was a trainer, technician, I had to start learning business, I had to start learning marketing, I had to start learning leadership in order to be like, well, if I, if the trainer technician world isn't giving me all the freedoms that I want. So that means I need new skills. I need new skills and I gotta figure this stuff out. And then even when I was a business owner, I was like, I'm not yet an entrepreneur because being a business owner isn't the same as being an entrepreneur where you start learning other verticals and other revenue streams and all the different ways that you can be doing stuff and you start branching off into many different divisions of what you can do and et cetera. But I had to be like, well, then I have to learn this online info marketing world. I have to learn copywriting. I have to learn all those things because my mission demanded I go invest in new skills to live the freedom lifestyle that I want to give my kids, my family, my team, my wife, all the people that I can have this conversation with. I say, you know what, if you want it, come follow us. Because in this environment, we're surrounded by different people. We're not with the negatives, we're not with the pessimists, we're not with the people that doubt the world, the hackers and the naysayers. Those people can go suck it wherever they are. In our world, we're like, hey, we're living the new American dream where we believe anything is possible and we can have time freedom. We can have financial freedom. We can have location freedom. We can have people freedom and we can have purpose freedom because we're evolving. 
We're evolving. We're not staying the same way we were before and expecting to get different results. Instead, we're willing to say what was doesn't mean that's what is now. And it's definitely not what is becoming. Our eye is on what's becoming so that we can go out there and live that freedom lifestyle and give it to others. But it first comes with addressing where is the lack of freedom coming or the realities that you're living in. Asking yourself, is what you're doing going to be able to cut it? Recognize the ceilings of each way that's out there in the world, from service, to small business, to entrepreneur, and then say what you can do. You can choose different. You can challenge the status quo. You can develop new skills. You can put yourself in a new environment so you can evolve and go out there and live that freedom lifestyle.